All right, hey guys, this is Zimmerbos TCG back in the video. With this video, I'm going to be doing a Gishki Sprite uh, combos video. And if you guys want to see the deck profile I'm using, it's going to be in the top right corner. And just so you guys know, for these combos, there's a lot of just link to rank two spamming that you can do. And there's a lot of different paths that you can take with it, just letting you know in case you think I should have done a different path. And this is just kind of the path that I enjoy taking using these combos. And this is a one card combo that I think you're going to want to know, especially if you run the Nimble Angler, because not a lot of people run it. And this just gives you an opening to it. So if you guys have been hesitant about running it, this is a good reason, uh, then this might be a good reason for why you should run it. So here I'm going to use Gishki Grim in order to get my Gishki Abyss. And then I'm going to use this to actually get another copy of Gishki Grim. So the great thing about this is that it sets me up for next turn. But if you guys had access to another, um, like either Gishki Vision or the other uh, Gishki uh, Monster, then this is actually a great way of uh, searching one of those out, and then you'd be able to go into your uh, whole Gishki Nair Minus thing. So here I'm going to use Sprite uh, Sprind in order to send my Nimble Angler. So this is a great way of using this card uh, that you wouldn't be able to use uh, if you didn't run this card. So here I'm going to use Nimble Angler. This gives me a free, just free two level two monsters out on here. Then I can use this in order to go into Gigantic Sprite. Detach a material, get my Sprite Blue. Then do the whole thing, Sprite Jet, in order to get another. So this is Sprite Starter, just so I can get another Sprite Monster out on the field. And then here I'm going to get my Dijin Buster. So this is going to be a Monster Negate. And now the interesting thing about this is that I can just, if I wanted to, just leave it like this. And you have a form of Monster Negation uh, through the Sprite Red, uh, just by tributing another level 2 rank 2 monster. So here it would be Giganic. Uh, sprite and the nice thing uh, well I guess you'll see when I continue here but I, I'm not gonna end up doing that so I'm gonna go into my IP Mascarina and the reason for that is like I said in the deck profile I think Crusadia Avermax is just very difficult for people to deal with and you're gonna see here so Dijon, uh, Dijon Buster is gonna be a form of a uh, two a form of uh, one monster negate and then uh, Crusadia Avermax it can't be destroyed by card effects um, so he can't be destroyed by card effects, and then if he battles a monster that's special summoned, then he actually gains the attack, so it makes it very difficult di very difficult for them to get over this, and it also can't be targeted. And once they actually manage to get rid of this card, you can shuffle one card in the field into the deck, so this is a non-target form of removal. And uh, not only that, you guys would actually be able to use Sprite, Sprite's, uh, so you could have chosen, uh, instead of using, you know, Dijon Buster, you could have used Sprite, Sprite's effect, where you can uh, detach one material from an XC monster you control, then target one monster in the field, return it to hand. So that's just another form of removal. Or you could have used uh, IP Mascarina to go into uh, Unicorn instead of Crusadia Avermax. It's totally up to you, but it's just showing you the flexibility of the deck just during your opponent's turn, reacting to what they have. And uh, it's just a one card combo. Let's go to the two card combo. All right, guys, so this is a two card combo that I wanted to show you guys. And this is using Gishki Grim and Gishki Shadow. So. The great thing about this is it's kind of like what I said. If you just had one of the Gishki cards, you'd be able to do a lot more. And uh, yeah, this in this hand, I'm going to have Gishki Shadow. And you're going to see how much it extends your plays here. So let's get started. So I'm a normal summon Gishki Grim like I did before. Do the whole Gishki Abyss thing in order to get my Gishki Vision. Then here I'm going to get my Sprite Sprine. And then go into the Nimble uh, Angler. And then here get my Nimble Beavers. Now I'm going to do... You know, get my Photomir and get my Nair Minus. And the nice thing is that I can actually use my Photomir uh, without having anything to tribute. Nair Minus, get my Gishki. So this is what I was talking about in the deck profile, just being able to abuse Gishki Abyss's effect. It's nice here. And then I'm going to get Gishki Grim, so this actually sets me up for the next turn. In case they happen to get rid of the board I set up, uh, then you're going to be able to deal with this uh, better. And just so you guys know, like, the Gishki card, uh, I can't remember the name of the spell, but it's like Gishki Focalization or something like that, or Focus Gishki. It's able to search out um, a Gishki monster, so that just makes this a lot better, uh, since you'd just be able to get uh, your Gishki Grim. And then once you get your Gishki Ritual Monster out on the field, you'd be able to get the Trap, uh, Gishki Mirror Illusion, I think it's called. That'll actually let you abuse this effect twice. You get two monster uh, negates. So this combo would get only better if you had that card instead of the Gishki Grim. But yeah, I'm going to use Gigantic Sprite here in order to get my Sprite Blue. Then get into Sprite Jet. 
in order to get my sprite starter. So here I have my Dijon Buster, the one same I, same way I set it up last time. But you see now I have Nerminus just because I had that other Gishki monster, and because Nerminus is able to use a Monster Reborn uh, effect for water monsters, I was able to get this back. So yeah, just solid way of using this. Then here I'm using Sprite Starter to get my Sprite Carrot, and then I get my IP Mascarena. And then IP Mascarena in order to go into my Crusader Abramax. So you can see um, we have a form of disruption through Nair Minus. It's a monster in the gate. Then we have a form of disruption through the, uh, through the Gen Buster. Because this is going to be your um, another form of monster in the gate. Then we would have had Sprite Sprite on the field. Uh, so if another monster is summoned while this card is on the field, you can attach one material from next seed monster you control, then target one monster from the field, return to the hand. So in this case, we'd be able to remove it from Gigantic Sprite. So it wouldn't cost us like losing the ability to use Dijon Buster's effect. And then we had IP Mascarena. So after we use Sprite Sprite's effect, we'd be able to go into Crusader Avermax or Nightmare Unicorn. And then from there, either shuffle something back or have this monster that's very difficult for your opponent to deal with. And of course, like I said, if we had the focalized... Uh, or the focused, like, uh, the Gishki focus card. This would only get better because this uh, monster negate would become two monster negates. And, yeah. It's just... And then we, we're set up for next turn here. If they happen to get rid of everything on the board somehow, Gishki Grim is just a one card combo to keep you going. So, yeah. I think this is a very solid combo. And let me show you guys the third combo here. Alright, guys. This is the third combo I wanted to show you. It's using Swap Frog, uh, Focused Aquamere, and uh, Nimble Angler. And just showing you the way that Swap Frog interacts with Nimble Angler here. So let's just get started. We're going to use Aquamere for Lizette, or I can keep on reading the text on the card, but it's focused Aquamere in order to search out the Gishki Grim. And like I said, this is just a great way of, uh, uh, it's like a bonus effect once you get Nair Minus out because you're able, you're able to get Grim out using this card and then use uh, focalization here at during the end phase to get an Aquamere trap. So we're going to do what I showed you guys before, get Gishki Abyss. Okay, and then use that in order to get my vision. Then we can use Swap Rock to get rid of Nimble uh, Nimble Angler. Then Angler's Effect to Special Summon 2. Swap Rock to ditch one card. Then we can go into IP Mascarena here. So the reason I went to IP Mascarena is because I'm planning to get my uh, Coral Anemone card out. And that'll mean that I'm not going to be able to Special Summon a monster that's not in water. Uh, so now I'm going to go into Coral Anemone, use the Defect. In order to get my Gishki Abyss. Again, this is the great thing about Gishki Abyss. The fact that you're able to abuse this effect uh, as a soft one to return. And here I have my Gishki Shadow and Gishki Vision. So every time you see this, you should know this is an instant or minus. Which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use Photo Mirror here uh, in order to get Nair Minus. Nair Minus is water or er, uh, Monster Reborn effect in order to get my Swap Frog. Which gives me the ability to go into Totally Awesome. And then during the end phase, I can actually go and get myself an Aquamere uh, Illusion. Then during the standby phase, if I wanted to, just use Totally Awesome's effect in order to get another monster out here. Then use IP Mascarena, go into my Crusader Avermax. So you can see here, just to break it down, here we have the Monster Negate, Nair Minus. Then we can use Aquamere Illusion once it's sent back to the hand in order to abuse this. So it's two Monster Negates. Totally Awesome is a Omni Negate. So that'll be uh, three forms of disruption. And then we have IP Mascarena, which would have given us the ability to either get Crusader Avermax or Nightmare Unicorn. So that would have been four forms of disruption. Um, and if some, flexibi some flexibility using IP Mascarena, just to see, like, with depending on your opponent, what's the bigger threat. And that's just a simple three-card combo. There's different things I could have done. But I like this combo here. And let me know what you guys think about the combos. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.